Today we're going to walk through a Venice integration with Cursor Code Editor. First, we will go to cursor.com and download the program. You will need to install the program and log in to continue. Head over to Cursor and click the Settings button on the top right, and then the Models tab to start configuring the setting. You will see a section for Models and for an OpenAI API key. Next, we'll go to venice.ai slash settings slash API and click Generate New API Key. Name your key, set permissions, and click Continue. You should copy your API key now as you will not be able to get the full key again later. Now we need to choose our model, so we are going to head over to the Venice API reference documents found through venice.ai slash API. On the List Models section, click Try It. Enter your API key. Change the type to Text Models and then click Send. Now you can see all of the models available through the API. Find and copy down the model ID you'd like to use within Cursor. We chose the Quencoder model for this example. Copy down the ID for reference. We verified the API key again one last time. Now we will go back over to Cursor and click Add Model in the Model section. Enter the model ID that you just copied down and click Add Model. Enter your API key and the Venice API base URL into the Open AI API key section. Click Save, then click Verify. When prompted, enable the API connection. You will see the switch on the top right change from red to green. Now, head back to the home screen within Cursor and open one of your workspaces. We opened an Eliza workspace for this video. Cursor has tons of great features that you should check out on their website, but we will show the simplest example here. Simply highlight a section of code and click Chat. Now you can ask anything you'd like about the code, or something as simple as, what does this code do? You can see that cursor properly connected to the LLM via the Venice API and explained the code. Congratulations on completing your Venice and cursor integration.